Ma, 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 what it do, broski? This is my man, Davey, Matt Fly, Two Wise, back in the Mark Museum, man. Gonna drop off that five, broski. For one, let me give a major, major shout out and salute to all my OGs, youngest day ones, and new members like, bro, y'all go ahead and tap that like button for your boy right now, bro. I would gratefully appreciate that. We're gonna go ahead and get in the mix. I ain't gonna hold y'all look, bro. I heard the homies loud and clear, man. They said don't stop lacing them up, so we ain't gonna stop lacing them up. And I got a ton to lace up. I laced up the Galaxy Rookies on stream last night. If you missed that video, um, check the check the joint that say unboxing a pair of shoes that was stolen from me. Somewhere along those lines. Check that video out, bro. It was fine. But, y'all already know we got to get into the rules of the lace game while I'm loosening up the shoe. And that's step number one. Go ahead and loosen up your shoe, broski. And this is how I lace my threes. I mean, I see that everybody got their own way of attacking things. Fortunately, I have my own way of doing things. So, we in look. And that lead me to rule number one. Man, woman, cat, dog, female, frog, duck, truck, bro, y'all know I don't care. <laughs> the person who buy the shoe, that, that person has to say and how they should be laced. You feel me? No more than that list. Rule number two, there is no wrong or right way to lacing your sneakers, bro. If you got your own technique, you know what I'm saying? Bow sensei, you know what I mean? Keep killing them. If you like what I do, keep watching. And I'ma show you. But I just advise everybody to be creative. You know what I'm saying? I like when people have their own socks. But if you need a little help, you're in the right direction. Cause I definitely got my own way of doing things right here. Rule number three, if you don't like what you see, mob, tell them rule number three for your boy. Pretty, pretty please. First person that tell them rule number three, I'm gonna pin the comment. And we're gonna keep it moving like that. But, that's the first step. You gotta lace up. Lace up. <laughs> you gotta loosen up the sneaker, bro. And then, step number two. How I do it, I put my foot in it. I'm gonna get these guts out. Salute to my boy Smoke Witty. With the major, major, major oop on these, bro. You are a lifesaver, bro. I'm telling you, you are a lifesaver, bro. Thank you so much, man. Showed your boy love. Showed your boy love for real. Hit me with receipt. Everything. All the way official coming from champs. Bro, just showed me two hundo. Can you beat that man for the two hundo? That's love, bro. You know what I'm saying? I really, really appreciate you, bro. I don't take your generosity or your kindness for granted. For real, for real. Major shout out to you, man. If you happen to be watching this video, go ahead and hit the like button for yourself, my dog. One time for the one time. But how I be giving it up, my dog. How I be giving it up. I loosen them up all the way down then. I just get me a little pop right there, right? And I take them all the way to the third eyelet. The color ones, you see? One, two, three, that one at the top. Bang! Come in from the bottom like that right there. And a big old cross. Do the same thing on the other side, of course. And I like to leave it kind of loose because I still want to get a shoe room to breathe, bro. A lot of people lose the lace their sneakers. That's a really effective way of letting your sneakers breathe. As long as you ain't got them choked out, you know what I'm saying? And when you walk and when you pivot, it's not pulling and, and adding more stress to the pressure points and the pivot points of the sneaker. You'll be all right on creasing. A lot of people don't care. Some people do. Some people like to keep their shoes looking fresh up out the box every time they wear them. I'm one of those people depending on one depending on the sneaker. You know what I'm saying? Some sneakers look better beat. That's that's very true. 
but these right here, like the, a shoe like this, I want this to be super fresh every time I wear it. So anyway, I got my big cross right. Bang, regular bow tie, stand up bow tie. Everybody knows how to do the stand up bow tie. And these laces are super short, bro. Honestly, for my guys who like the stand up bow tie, you'll be able to get away with it, depending on how you freak it and finesse it. If you give yourself enough room and don't let the bow hit the ground, you'll be in the game. You know what I'm saying? Just like that. But me, personally, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do just the bow ties. I gotta give myself a little, a little, a little pop on that junk. So after I get the bow tie right, just to keep the double knot how I want to, I flip it upside down and then do another bow. And it's gonna actually sit exactly how you want it to. Just remember to flip it after you do your uh, bow tie. Very important, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is gonna be in the way. Try to keep it out the way best you can. But yeah, hit it with that little double, double knot. And this highlights my threes, bro. This highlights a lot of my sneakers at this point. And the only reason why I decided, well, yeah, it would be a good idea to continue to show y'all how I lace my sneakers. No matter on if it's the same silhouette, you know what I mean? You're not gonna see it nowhere but here. How I lace my sneakers, so yeah. I got y'all fellas, I got y'all fellas. I'm gonna go ahead and lace up the rest of them I just got as well. So, look forward for a lot of these videos, man. And y'all already know we're gonna hit them with the 5360 on foot at the end, so stay tuned to the end. We're gonna go ahead and get these joint laced up. And why I'm doing that, bro. Like, really, I'm glad I'm doing this. It's therapeutic, man. When I'm lacing up shoes, it's kind of like I get, I'm at peace. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's real therapeutic, this, this right here. I love to lace them up. I love to clean them. Lace swapping anytime when it's just me and the sneaker and I ain't got to think about nothing else, but you know what I'm saying? Making sure I'm fly. That's why I do it, because I have peace, bro. I ain't got to worry about all the, all the problems, all the stress, all the worries, all the ronas, all the bull. You know what I'm saying? We just be wanting a little peace of mind from time to time. Because today, bro, I was so frustrated. I got another sneaker on the way, but the cost of it made it to where I would need a signature. So they left the note on the door, and it was supposed to be delivered today. The day rolls around. I get up early this morning after a long stream last night. Waiting on the sneaker. Right now, bro, it's probably around 8 a.m. Still no sneaker. I went to FedEx before it closed. They don't have my shoe in the building. It's looking like I'm going to have to file a claim. The last bright idea I had was to log into the app and have them hold the package at a different FedEx. It's not here, and it's not at the FedEx that I went to that they said it would be. So hopefully me doing that, you know what I'm saying? They said they will notify me through the app when the package is ready for pickup. And hopefully that triggers a reaction for my sneaker to come up where they supposed to be so I can get a review off, man, and get more visuals, get more bangers. I got work ready for y'all, bro. But FedEx is really playing me right now. And the reason why I'm telling y'all, y'all see the same procedure, bro. Get you some room, you know what I'm saying, big cross. Get you some room to walk around, pivot, make sure you ain't choked out. Bow tie, same procedure. It's this sneaker. But still, the reason why I'm telling y'all, man, because I want to know, has anybody ever had a package to come up missing from, that, from FedEx and they never got it? You see what I'm saying? Like... This is this not cool, bro. <laughs> this ain't cool. I end up hitting on a sneaker raffle from In Clothing. You know they based in the UK. So, for one, it was an international package. Had to wait and be behind the curve anyway. I'm late to the party by default. 
even though I got my sneaker when everybody else did. So I'm already late to the party. And now it's seeming like they done lost my sneaker, bro. And I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Really, I ain't got time for that one. I ain't got time for that one. I'm gonna eventually, if I don't see the sneaker by tomorrow, I'm gonna have to file a claim. Bruh. I feel like, yeah, I probably should have filed a claim already, but still, man. I need my kicks, bro. <laughs> I need my kicks, man. I need my kicks. But bam, got my little double bow in there. Bye, yeah. And if y'all like it, bro, y'all more than welcome to try it. Like I said, man, I ain't, I ain't tripping. If you got your own way, that's cool. Remember rule number two. It ain't no wrong or white right. right. <laughs> it ain't no wrong or right way to let your sneaker, bro. Straight up. And this how I'm coming. This how I'm going to keep them. This how I'm going to freak them. Just like that. And Lee D. Jones B. That look good to me, bro. You got to get that uh, 360 out. Let me roll my little chair out the way. Oh, yeah, man. Cut it to some tunes how we do. And tomorrow, we're going to be lacing up another shoe. Oh, so hold on, hold on. Try not to hit the camera with the chill. <laughs> I just want to get it out the frame. There we go. Bang. We got that set up in the cut. Make sure I got some focus. We in focus, we in focus. Yes, sir. Let's get it, bro. Mob, 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 man. Shout out to all my OGs, youngest day ones, new members alike. Like I said, catch y'all tomorrow with another one. For my family, yours. Peace. Hey, my niggas in this bitch. When your day will blow, then it's sick, getting rich. If a nigga blow, then it's sick, getting rich. Put that on my mom, man. I can't fucking switch, man. Yeah, yeah. Tell a bad bitch to say that ass, ass, ass with Young Davey on that gas, man. Hey, hey, hey. Tell a bad bitch to say that ass, ass, ass with Young Davey on that gas, gas. Uh, uh. I told her mama grind real slow. She sped up, now my own look like a field goal. Had to step back, cause I'm in chill mode. Damn, I just caught a text, now I'm on kill mode. Bruh, bruh. I'm trying to get the pocket real swole, real swole. Keep it a bandy nigga real ho Bruh they stay doing some shit I never seen before Ay. And that beefy shit got real old Run up on me, I'ma leave a nigga real cold Davey on the tube, ask the fam, I'm still mo Don't give a damn how big you is, I'ma still go Last nigga got hit and this shit still swole Ay, my niggas in this bitch When your David blow, then the sick getting rich If a nigga blow, then the sick getting rich Put that on my mob, man, I can't fucking switch, man yeah, yeah. Tell a bad bitch to say that ass with young Davey on that gas, man. Hey, tell a bad bitch to shake that ass with young Davey on that gas, gas. Perfect.